Hello, my name is Rebecca, I'm a blogger and a vlogger. From the classic series, I'd probably want to travel with the fifth, Peter Davison. Uh, he's absolutely fantastic. He's one of the ones that I felt was more like a brother or dad sort of figure. I felt quite safe with him. Um, and then more recent, David Tennant, because everything was just fun and energetic and there was lots of running and I like running, so. Well, one of my favorite companions is Tegan. Tegan from uh, the 80s, because she was just so ballsy and clever, but very um, witty as well, and she sort of challenged the Doctor. Nowadays, like the, co the companions do challenge the Doctors a bit more, whereas back then they were a little bit more submissive, I suppose. But uh, no, she's one of the companions that stood out to me as I was growing up, so I kind of relate a lot to her. When I was growing up, my favourite villains were the Cybermen, and the Cybermen from the Tomb of the Cybermen. Um, and I was scared of the Cybermen from Earthshock, but no, the Tomb of the Cybermen with the, uh, the weird mouths and how strong they were and how big, yeah, they were terrifying. And then more recently, I think my favourite monsters are the angels. I think what's great about the angels is that it plays on your mind. So now every time you see a statue, you think, ah, oh, that could be an angel. Even though it's all fiction in your head, it plays with your mind. So yeah, they're fantastic. I honestly can't remember the first uh, Doctor Who episode I watched. I've been watching them since I was practically born. My dad is obsessed. Um, but I do remember watching Peter Davison quite vividly when I was about five, because I used to style my hair after him with the parting on one side. Oh yeah. Um, but no, I honestly can't remember. One of my favourite stories with David Tennant is Girl in the Fireplace. It is a little bit bittersweet towards the end, but it's just, it's got uh, aliens, it's got period dramas in there. I love periods and costumes, things like that. Um, so yeah, that one makes me very happy. And a little bit of kissing as well, a little bit of romance. I love the idea of going to the future and seeing aliens and different planets, but the big thing for me is history, going back in time. So I love the Elizabethan periods, I love the Victorian era, so going back and living the things I've been studying at school, things like that, looking at the clothes and smelling the aromas in the air, just going to things that I'm aware of and just want to experience, yeah, that would be good. Another television show I'm obsessed with is The American Office. Um, it's something I watch practically every day or I put on in the background, it makes me happy. And it's quite light-hearted as well, so especially when you're feeling down, just put it on and it cheers you up, so.